Coming to you from Radnor, Pennsylvania, this is your Location Lifestyles update. Hi, I'm Nasir Ransom and this is Location Lifestyles. And I'm Emily Rowan, filling in this week for Emily Krause. Well, it seems that Lamar Odom is doing much better. Six months after his overdose in Las Vegas, the NBA star is enjoying life and spending quality time with wife Khloe Kardashian. E! Online reports that the two spent Easter together along with Kim and Kourtney Kardashian. The couple attended church, then went to Kim and Kanye's house for the rest of the festivities. Chloe has said in the past that they are not back together, but she will continue to care for and always love Lamar. The Kardashians return Sunday, May 1st at 9 p.m. on E! A big change on Instagram will be happening in the near future, although users have stated their disapproval. Claiming that people miss on average of 70% of their feed, Instagram has decided to no longer show posts in chronological order. Instagram added, the order of photos and videos in your feed will be based on the likelihood that you'll be interested in the content, your relationship with the person posting, and the timeliness of the post. So, start working on your photo skills to get those likes and comments if you want your posts to rise to the top. Have you ever wondered what it took to make your favorite childhood animation movies? Now, until September 5th, the science behind Pixar exhibit at the Franklin Institute gives you a glimpse into the world of Pixar. Detailed engineering, mathematical concepts, and first-hand accounts from the artists will be available. Over 40 interactive displays and games are offered at the exhibit. This is the first time an exhibit like this has been put on in Philadelphia. I know I'm definitely going sometime soon. Balancing school and other responsibilities can be tough, but can you imagine being a student and a teacher at the same time? Senior education majors at Cabrini know what it's like. Let's see how they manage it all. I love the students. I love working with the students. I love the ability to be a teacher and the opportunity to see if I really like it. I hand out the applications and on the application they get to, to put down three schools that they would like to like me to contact to ask for requests for placement. Um, I was placed there because of a grant was given so they actually choose um, four student teachers and a post back and we actually went there and worked with teachers on a leadership certification that they are currently trying to receive. And I thought that was really cool because it got to see me a whole, gave me a different view on the whole administration side. Um, so I actually am glad that I didn't go anywhere else. I'm really happy that I was placed where I was. The teacher plans with them their, the lessons that they're going to be teaching. They start out just adopting um, one or two lessons each day or and then gradually they have to do full-time student teaching in the classroom. So that's usually about two to four weeks that they're the full-time teacher. Right before they go out, we have an orientation and they're very anxious um, because they finally realize that there's no more coursework that they have to worry about. They just have to worry about mainly lesson plans. The biggest challenge is of student teaching, uh, making sure you're prepared and following the lessons or following the curriculum that the teacher, the actual teacher, as laid out for you. And classroom management, because you don't know the kids. The kids, you, you're jumping in with the students after they've had a teacher for half, half a year so far, and you're jumping in, taking over. Their coursework definitely coordinates the field placement with their courses, so they get to, they get to talk about their um, experiences in the classroom and uh, connect the skills that they're learning. With the, with the classes. Um, I actually just texted one of my professors the other day telling her thank you so much. Um, she actually helped me so much with my classroom management skills. I was able to go into a classroom, feel confident in my abilities, with the personal connections here with the professors. They see your strengths and they see your weaknesses early on, like freshman, sophomore year, and they help you work on those. So they really want you to be prepared for when it comes to that student teaching. In high school, I had the ability to work with children. Um, I even did a lot of volunteering through working with special needs during the summer. I just found that connection and that love for it. That I love teaching. I love kids. Um, I want to pursue this for the rest of my life. I think it's, it's one of the best programs around, um, and mainly because we have so much time in the actual school districts to give the students as much practice as they can get. That's a lot of responsibility but it's nothing a Cabrini College student can't handle. We wish all the senior education majors the best of luck. Ariana Grande recently announced she has a new album almost completed entitled Dangerous Woman, which is expected to drop on May 20th. This will be Grande's fourth major album. She has already released two singles to give fans a taste of what to expect. 
Moda Del Vivo is closing out Unity Week with their annual fashion show. This is the organization's fifth consecutive year putting on the show-stopping performance. The show will feature local and upcoming designers, music, and food. Moda Del Vivo promotes self-expression, elevation of style, and supports local businesses. Tickets are $5 if bought in advance and $10 at the door. Make sure to come out next Friday, April 8th, 7 to 11 p.m. Enjoy the show. Justin Bieber's Purpose World Tour kicked off last month and all was going well this past week when Justin made the decision to cancel all future meet and greets. Justin posted on Instagram with the caption stating, The pressure of meeting people's expectations of what I'm supposed to be is so much for me to handle. Adding, I want to stay in a healthy mindset to give you the best show you have ever seen. The packages, which included a photo with Justin, attendance to a pre-show VIP lounge, best seats at the show, and more, ranged from $950 to $2,000. If fans chose to get a refund on the package, they had to forfeit their ticket to the concert as well. Many said they want Justin to do what's best for his mental health at this point, but the refunding issue has caused a lot of controversy. The meet and greet cancellation hasn't stopped most fans from looking forward to seeing Justin perform. The tour will take place in Philadelphia for two nights at the Wells Fargo Center on May 7th and 8th. I already have my tickets to see the show. Cabrini Commuters will soon host Commuter Appreciation Week, kicking off on Monday, April 11th with Commuter Karaoke. The week will feature other events such as online Twitter chats and a commuter breakfast bar. For more information, check out the Facebook Commuter page. Thanks for watching Location Lifestyles. Be sure to check us out on our social media platforms by simply searching Location News. I'm Nasia Ransom. And I'm Emily Rowan. Have a great week, Cabrini.